trying to put her hat on. Is that your hat? Hi everyone, Miss Sella here. I hope that you guys are having a great day. It turned out to be a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest and spring is just around the corner. Our garden is starting to come back to life so I just want to take a quick tour or take you on a quick tour of the garden and see what's sprouting back up. Um, the kale and collard greens are producing new lush leaves and we've got garlic growing everywhere. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video of our garden and I hope that you guys get to garden this weekend and enjoy your first day of spring. Thanks for joining us and happy gardening! Bye! Oh. <laughs> Bye! She's got this down already. Don't ya? Let's put this hat back on. Oh, it's windy. So this is the southeast part of the garden. It's actually pretty close to the backyard. Um, we got a couple of garden boxes back here. This is a 4x4 garden box full of garlic. So garlic all over there. Plant them in this whole box. I spaced them out about 6 to 8 inches apart. So we have, uh, I think it's mainly hardneck garlic, including elephant garlic, which is more like a leek. Next to the garlic, here's another garden box. It's about three feet wide and I think I believe five feet long. It's a strawberry bed and it needs to be moved to the backyard because it's not getting enough sun. We're not getting as many strawberries and it's shaded, shaded here now because there's a lot of trees um, growing and getting really tall. So it's shading this part of the garden. Another bed with lots of garlic, elephant, and hardneck. So this is a lot bigger than the other box. I believe this is eight feet long and about four feet wide. So I did mulch with um, wood, ch wood chips, but I'll be removing that because I think it messes with the pH of the soil. So I'll be moving that soon. I just mulched them because it got pretty cold this winter. We had lots of snow. A couple of garden boxes here and a gravel. Both have garlic in them. Zoom into this one here. I've only planted garlic here so far. And over in this one, I have kale and collard greens from last season. So I think they're going to be bolting or going to flower this year. Oh, the sun came out. Yay. The reason why I planted garlic throughout the garden is it helps deter um, insect pests, such as aphids and even some cabbage worms, the green cabbage moths. So I'm hoping it would work this year. Um, hopefully uh, my collard greens and my kale won't get infested again with aphids last, like last year, so hopefully it will help. And also, as the garlic matures, it produces more sulfur, which also acts as a fungicide, which is great to have around your other plants. I've got some rosemary here. Um, I think that's lemon balm in there, so they're slowly coming back. See the little sprouts there? So on the edge of the garden here, I've got mainly herbs, or herbs, this is oregano, and I've got some chocolate mint in there somewhere tiny leaves so you can't see it right now they haven't sprouted back up yet quite yet more lemon balm here there's some brown twigs more lemon balm and then I think the last shrub there is more oregano now the reason why I have lemon balm scattered all over the garden is because they help repel mosquitoes and we've had great success with that because we haven't had that many mosquitoes the past couple of years since we planted lemon balm. I think that was three years ago, but they started started maturing, and so they are growing all over the place. So I kind of planted them around um, the border of the garden. Oh, hi. <laughs> of our bigger garden boxes, the eight by four. So I've got garlic planted along the border here, as well as on the other side. I also have a few garlic inside the garden box planted along um, the side of the collard greens and kale. So some of these were planted la late last summer. So they're still pretty young plants. And on this garden box with a trellis, we have some garlic again planted along the side. Let me zoom in, in there. And then some Russian kale, um, curly leaf kale. And I think there's a collard greens plant at the end. I think I'm going to be planting some beets in between the garlic and the kale and collard greens. So, and behind there, I don't have anything growing. I did grow tomatoes the past couple of years in behind this um, garden box, but I'll be rotating and I'll be moving them on the other side. So that's about it, guys. There's a few things sprouting and everything seems to be coming back to life. So I gotta go hang out with the kids now and play some ball. Just want to give you guys a quick peek of our garden and I hope that you guys have a happy first day of spring. Thanks for joining me and happy gardening.